Hello, and welcome to Film Slam Stream's post-film conversation for Strike Team Justice. My name is Eric Seiler, and I'm a professor of film, media arts, and communications, as well as moderator for this conversation. We're very pleased to be joined by three people from Strike Team Justice. First, we have Jeremy Durbin. Jeremy is an actor, director, and a teaching artist, and a longtime ensemble member with the Cincinnati Shakespeare Company. Also we have with us is Ryan Lewis. He's a cinematographer and he has won numerous awards uh, with film festivals nationwide that have, he's, his films have been mentioned in Time Magazine as well as Entertainment Weekly. And last but not least, you might recognize him, we have Jack Kurse. Jimmy, uh, he wants to be known by, he's been acting for most of his life, including playing the lead role in the Cincinnati Children's Theater in the production of Casper, the Friendly Musical. Hello to all of you and welcome. Hey, thanks, Eric. Thanks for having us. Oh, it's great to have you here. Uh, the, the, this film, trailer, whatever you want to call it, it's fun. I want to see more and more of it. Well, when can we see more of this? Usually that's the last question I ask. When can we see more of it? Uh, Jeremy? <laughs> uh, well, we're working on plans for phases two, three, and four of the extended Strike Team Justice cinematic universe. Uh, so uh, we'll be rolling those out over the next uh, several decades. So you yeah, have that to, to look forward to. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, Ryan, I, we, we have no immediate plans uh, for, for a follow-up, but uh, it certainly would be a fun world to play in again. Yeah, I, I won't say you're the first person to ask that question. Uh, it was never thought of as to, to continue it, but I've definitely, it's, it keeps rolling around in my brain that, that, that it could be fun to revisit a little bit. I see. So, uh, uh, Ryan, you were the writer behind this uh, film. So did you bring this to Jeremy or Jeremy brought you the idea and you wrote it? How did this come about? Uh, in the, the height of the first part of the pandemic, when everybody's locked down, uh, I was getting a little stir crazy. And, you know, I, I'd been very busy with work up until the pandemic and then work stopped entirely. So I had time to actually do the creative work that I wanted to do. Uh, and then I found a competition that basically said, if you can make a, a, a film within two minutes, we'll accept it. And, you know, it'll be a festival that we could run it in. And so that was all the the challenge I needed. Like, I could I could write something in two minutes, and uh, just kind of went from there. Threw it at Jeremy. Jeremy seemed to respond to it well, and we just uh, went and shot it. I, I see. You went and shot it. You cast it well, and you uh, found Jack to play Jimmy. Um, now, Jimmy, are you related to um, um, any of the people in the film, or are you just someone that they found to be in this film? Yeah. Okay, so you did. So when you got the script, what did you think of it at first? Did you find it um, silly? Did you find it like fun? What was your reaction to it? Well, I was first, like, I was so excited getting the role because it was my first film. And um, I guess it, it was a really good script. Really, really enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. And and indeed it was, it was a, a, a lot of um, fun uh, with that. Now, Jeremy, you put yourself in the film. Is, is that typical that you uh, cast yourself in the film or you just couldn't yeah, find- much like anymore? Alfred Hitchcock. I, I, no, I think we were just, uh, we were short on people <laughs> on the day. And, and so uh, I think, uh, yeah, Ryan, uh, the day before, <laughs> so you yeah, bring a dress shirt and a tie. We might need you to do something. Uh, so it was born out of circumstance, but I had a, I had a fantastic time uh, doing it. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. Now, um, Ryan, in terms of on um, the production of this, uh, you had that challenge of writing something for two minutes. Um, take us from um, the conceptual stage to the final edit. How long did that take? Uh, let's see. The, the script probably took a month. Uh, it originally turned out to be like, I just started writing to see what I could do, and it turned out to be five or six pages, and then realizing I needed to whittle it down to two. Uh, the shoot itself was two days. Editing probably took a month or two. And then that was the first version. Then we went back and like polished up the audio and the color and that took a, a little bit of extra time. But uh, so overall it took a little while, but in spurts basically. Okay, well, yeah, it, I mean, it, the effort shows that the time that you put into it. Now, the gym, um, uh, Jack, um, what has the response been? 
uh, uh, to this film when people have seen it? Have people come up to you or what's been re the reaction? Um, well, most people, actually all of them who have seen it, they're like, wow, that's like everyone who is in it did a really, really good job. And especially like the camera works and basically everything was so perfect. It was, it was probably the best thing I've, I've had for so long. And, and the acting was perfect too. Don't sell yourself short. Yes. <laughs> it, 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 it was, and you just such a, you really commanded the um, role, um, Jack, in that you carried the, you really carried the film um, in that sense, mixed in with the editing and the music. Thank you. Good job um, carrying that. Very convincing. And um, would, would you, would you like to see this film become like something more like a little series or a longer film? Would you? Uh, that would be really, really cool. That would be, yes. See what you guys started. Uh, you know, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. And now Jack's a fan. I'm sure you have many more fans out there. Okay, J Jeremy, um, let, let's talk a little bit more about the story itself in that, in that sense that, um, you know, you have this grown man in a sense of pretending to be a kid and he's like you know uh you know facetiming with someone else in that sense and uh i guess that was done like an attic somewhere um that you you set up to make it look like 10 so so um in the whole sense was the whole point behind this was like never grow up or peter pan kind of thing is that the approach that you think the film had I think, yeah, very much so. And you know, Ron, I'm sure can speak to it, you know, who, who wrote the piece. And I, when he sent the script to me, I just thought it was so, so delightful. And that was uh, Ryan's actual attic. Uh, so that's uh, an verisimilitude. <laughs> so that's, uh, but he, I think it was kind of part of the inspiration is he, uh, you know, had this neat space in his house. And it's like, I've got to do something with this space sometime. And kind of, you know, they, that was sort of the germ. Uh, but yeah, that's absolutely what uh, I love about it is that, that, that sense of, of childlike wonder and joy and the sheer fun of invention and playing and making something uh, that we feel as a kid that sometimes it's so easy for that to, to get lost as we get older and so much and so many other things are weighing down on us. And this just in such a sweet way, I thought, just tapped into, into that idea of, of that joy that, uh, that can still spark. It, it can. And I know, uh, uh... Ryan, you indicated you worked on the script for a couple months. One of the things that came across so clear, which is really hard to do, was that it was a film about kids making a film. And that in itself can be confusing, but you pulled that off in two minutes. How challenging was that to do a write and rewrite and rewrite and still get the point across? That was probably the trickiest part of the writing was to make sure that it was that you could understand what they were doing because you only had so long to set it up. So you wanted to make sure that you knew that they were making a movie in their heads or in reality, whichever one it is. But instead of, yeah, because the setup is literally like 20 seconds and you have to, you know, at that point you have to be going if you're going to hit two minutes. So it needed to be set up really quickly. So that definitely took the most revisions on that, that scene. Good. Okay. Well, and I was bouncing to my friends to make sure that they understood what I was doing too. <laughs> absolutely. Now, um, Jack, the other um, kids in the film, did you know them at all or did you just meet them, you know, the day that, you know, you started filming? Uh, I knew one of them before. Um, she is one of my really good friends. We've known each other um, probably our whole life. Yeah. Okay. And how, how did everyone get along? How did the kids get along on the set? Did you enjoy, have fun? Yeah, a lot. Of okay, great. Do you still keep in touch with the other um, kids at all? Um, not too much, really. Good. Well, um, Jeremy and Ryan, you got to get going with this so you can reunite these kids, you know. <laughs> People get them back together. We can book them all, you know. Yeah, <laughs> We're, uh, it might be too big for us now. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're losing touch with each other and so, so forth. Okay, now, uh, um, Jeremy, in terms of your style of directing, there was a lot that was done in post to really enhance it, you know, like the, the sound design, the, the music, and, and, and so forth. Uh, what, what 
are some things that we that were left out from the filming that didn't make it in the edit because you have to shoot more to condense it down. Can you give us some like cutting room floor insight? <laughs> Oh, sure. I, I mean, probably the most fun was uh, some of the, you know, our big fight scenes and we shot so much footage, <laughs> including me standing behind a big stuffed bear to <laughs> so, uh, give away the secrets of the trade. But that was the high tech we were working with <laughs> standing behind a bear. Uh, so there was a lot of that and just kind of, you know, shouting out uh, instructions, All right, kick, swing, jump. Double jump, double kick. Uh, it was super fun just uh, playing with that and seeing what happened. And so uh, uh, hopefully providing a, a thing for Ryan, a nice smorgasbord of, of options to choose from. All right. Well, good. So you provided, you know, uh, you did a lot of takes and, you know, different ways just so you had something to work with in post. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that was definitely the trickiest scene to cut down because of how much we had. <laughs> <laughs> Which is never a bad thing. <laughs> no, I see. So, in terms of who did the casting, did both of you, are you and Jeremy, Ryan and Jeremy, both of you do the casting at all? Yeah. So you know, we kind of both have uh, have our our uh, various sources that we went <laughs> to, and uh, I do a lot of teaching through the Shakespeare Company. So yeah, I have a lot of classes and and uh, kids that I've worked with, and then uh, uh, Ryan has other sources that, that he went through. So we're able to kind of spread a wide net and and find find the right people. You know? Well, oh, good. Did you hold auditions, or you just had a, a uh, selected ask people to be in the film? It. It was mostly we like we we'd reach out to people at least on my end I'd reach out to people for recommendations and then we'd send them the script and like Jack sent in a great audition and immediately was that character <laughs> uh, a couple other auditions here and there and we just kind of pieced it all together. It worked out really well um, here. Now, um, Jack, uh, what's what's next for you? I know you like to do uh, strike. Team Justice as a film, but that's not coming. The grown-ups are dragging their feet. <laughs> Since they're dragging their Working feet. Working through back. contract issues, Eric. There's a lot, a lot of ins, a lot of outs, you know. <laughs> Since they're dragging their feet, well, what's what's next for you? Are you doing school plays? Are you looking to do more films? What are you doing next? Um, yeah, I'm doing a school play right now. Um uh it's almost done. We have, I think we have um um it's Oh gosh, uh, I think the performance is like May 7th and 8th, but yeah, um, I'm probably going to do some more films eventually. Um, just, it's kind of, it's difficult finding some right now just because you know, auditions are a little less or a little more rare. Okay, you're keeping an open mind. Oh, well, what production yeah. are you? What production are you doing in school? Uh, it's called Once Upon a Mattress. Oh, okay, yeah. great, 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 uh, great um, production. <laughs> well, good, good. I wish you uh, luck with that role, and uh, you know, never know who's in the audience. You know, that might be looking for a, a star actor. Uh, moving on to you, Jeremy. What's next for you? Um, uh, my fingers are crossed. I'm hoping you're going to say what you're going to say. What's next? Well, the sequel to Strike Team Justice is clearly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, um, you know, we're uh, hoping uh, so I, most of the work I do is in theater and uh, it's been a rough year for live theater, uh, you know, as it has for most industries. Uh, so but we are. Uh, hoping that uh, this fall uh, we'll be able to uh, reopen our main stage and this summer uh, I'll actually be uh, we have some touring productions and Shakespeare in the Park that's going to be around parts in the area so that's actually uh, my next thing is uh, directing a tour of Midsummer Night's Dream that'll be going around the parks. Oh that sounds awesome. Yeah. Um, that's with that and what about you Ryan what, what's what's on the horizon for you? Uh, I've got a, a couple of movies that I worked on that should be coming out this year, hopefully, some features, uh, one documentary that'll be on Netflix, and then two narratives that'll hopefully get some theatrical, but we'll see. Um, I've I've nothing exactly nailed down yet. I've got a couple of films that I'm I'm hoping to be a part of, uh, and then hoping to hoping to keep the creative spark going and do do a few more things like this maybe in the future. Okay. 
Great, I hope so too. Well, we look forward to that. Well, this has been such a delightful and entertaining conversation. I appreciate all of you for joining us today. Jeremy Dubin, uh, Ryan Lewis, and Jack Kurs. Thank you so much for taking some time out just to talk to everyone about um, this great film. Uh, thank you, Eric. Thank you. And thank you for joining us for this important and invigorating conversation. For more information about the current 45th Cleveland International Film Festival and upcoming film festivals, please visit clevelandfilm.org. I'm Eric Seiler. Thank you.